Hi friends, let's make an infinity symbol in Figma. Here we are in Figma and we're going to make an infinity symbol. Isn't that nifty? I'm going to begin by coming down here. I'm going to start with an unconventional shape. I'm going to go to my polygon tool. There's other ways to do this. I just feel like using the polygon tool. And here I'm going to create a count of four. I'm going to drag that up and I get a count of four. I'm going to press shift X, come down here to my stroke, click on that stroke. We're going to set that color to be black. We are also going to make sure that that stroke is set to the center. So here we go. I'm going to move this over here. Next, let's double click inside of that. Select these three points to the left and round out those corners to a ridiculous number. So me, I'm just going all the way out into the hundreds. While still inside vector editing mode, let's hold down the option key, alt key if you are on Windows and move that over to the right. Let's make this a little bit bigger so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm selecting all of these points here. I'm holding down the option key, alt key if you're on Windows, dragging this over to the right. Then I'm gonna press shift H to flip that horizontally. I'm gonna select this point here, drag it till it snaps right there in the middle. And once it does, you can see that we have our infinity icon. However, we're gonna take this one step further. I'm gonna press command E. And what that's gonna do is when I double click in here, you can see it cleaned up those points a fair bit. Next, let's bring back our interface. Let's zoom out just a little bit. And what I can do here is adjust the sizing of this icon. So right now it's at 18. I could actually set this width to be 19. And now that it is 19, we can center it. And you can see that it is in alignment with our grids. This is with a stroke of one because it's sensor aligned. When you add that stroke value, you may want to scale that down just a little bit. So with a stroke of two, it's going to be a width of 18. So this looks pretty good, but let's say we want to style it just a little bit more. I'm going to show you something really cool here. What I'm going to do is select all of these points. I'm going to select all of these points on the left. I'm going to hold down the shift key, select all of these points on the right, and then I'm going to press shift delete. Now, when I press shift delete, what that just did was made this a one point icon. I know that's a little bit unconventional. Me, I think that's kind of fun. I'm going to expand this out here. Let's say right up about there. So we have this one point icon. I think that's kind of great, but let's go ahead. Let's make a, another version. Let's give that one stroke. Let's expand this out just a little bit there. Let's see. Let's get it so it kind of snaps out to our edge. It's going to be exactly a value of 19. And there is our additional styled icon. If you want to expand this, what you're going to do is right click and then go outline stroke. So now when I jump back in, you can see that we've reclaimed our points. Just wanted to show you some of that process and some of the unique ways that you can make some of these shapes in Figma. That's all for today. Leave any questions you may have in the comments. And as always, happy designing.